Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a minute since I uploaded a new video. Um, the reason is is because I I got a new camera and then uh, my computer couldn't handle the new the new quality, um, so I had to build a new computer. And um, right now I'm, I'm filming with my phone, so hope the video comes out clear um, so yeah let me show you guys what I'm doing today uh, I'm gonna be installing a nice tank it's actually over here so this is the ice tank that I'm gonna be using I just got this on eBay it's a two and a half gallon ice tank it's actually a fuel cell uh, but I'm gonna use it as an ice tank um because the ice tanks are like three hundred dollars each and it's basically the same thing to be honest um i don't know why they're so expensive uh they're made the same way uh so i don't know um but yeah this is it right here i went ahead and made this a little bit bigger so yeah this is the ice tank that i'm gonna be using i went ahead and Cut off the the other AM fittings for the return lines. I'm not gonna be using those, so yeah, I can't wait to see how it's gonna look. Um, it was only like seventy dollars, so so not bad. And then this is how you open it. And then um, it came with this foam pad. So I'm going to leave it so that way when I pour ice, it doesn't get stuck on the lines. And then that's how you close it. So yeah, I want to I want to make it look clean with, with the AM fittings and stuff. Um, let me show you guys the trunk. Right, so this is my trunk. So let me show you guys how it's, how it's gonna look. See how tiny it is? It's only like three pounds. So this is how it's gonna sit. That's how it's gonna sit. You can see, yeah, I still have a bunch of room. All right, so I brought it here so you guys could see it a little bit better. It's about 10 inches tall. So you can see my hand. It carries two and a half gallons of fluids all right guys so a little update um i went ahead and got the new lines the braided braided lines for the supercharger and I actually ran out so I'm gonna use these for now but I got more on the way and then um, I went ahead and removed the wheel off so I'm gonna start to run the the hose from the back of the car to the to the front Whew. Just got done opening down the, the ice tank. It's not going anywhere. I really like the way it looks to be honest. Perfect fit for this car. Um, now I'm gonna 
start um, with the with the water pump, and after that we can start filling up the. The water tank. All right, guys. So I just finished everything. And check out how it looks. I really like it. I still have a lot of space right there. That way, if I want to get a subwoofer, I can. Um, probably be probably gonna be like a 10 inch. So now all we gotta do is uh, fill up the the water tank. And then um, there's already like half a gallon on the system because I was running a another another uh, tank, which is this one. This is a 10 gallon that I used to that I used to run, and it was it was ugly. It looked really bad. Uh, couldn't even fit anything underneath my see how big it is 10 gallons so I didn't like it uh, and then it was really heavy right here I have a full gallon of water okay so let's see how this goes And then after this first one, I'm gonna turn on the car. So it's already like half ways. So let's run the car and see what happens. The car has been sitting, hopefully the battery is dead. So it looks like we don't got any more leaks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add another gallon of water. Let's 
So around two gallons is what I want to have on this on this car. I think that's enough. So yeah, this is what it's for. And when we go to the track, we can have some eyes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car. And see what happens. Hopefully we don't get another leak. We've been sitting for like 45 minutes and um, I got my thermometer I'm gonna see how how hot my my water is it's at 81 All right, guys. So um, my coolant temperature is at 192, as you can see, and then my intake temperature is 122, which is a lot lower than um, than it used to be before. Right now, it's at 86 degrees. It's nine in the morning. It's at 86 degrees. It should have been over 150 already, and as you can see, it's not even going up. It's staying right there at 122. My cooling temperature 190. Um, so yeah, I barely went up to 123. Um, so it's definitely working. All right, guys. So you guys have it. Quick little video. I'm gonna be uploading more videos. I got a lot of stuff coming for this car. Um, so yeah. I drove it today. It was around 100 and 110 degrees, and um, my end temperature didn't go past like 124, so that's actually good. Um, here it is again. Let me turn on the flashlight, and then uh, I did have another leak. It was coming from here, and I didn't have. Uh, more clamps so tomorrow morning I'm gonna go ahead and get another clamp and should be done I also went ahead and washed the car I gotta detail that inside and then I got my seats off because we're going to the track next week I want to take my rear seats off and my front passenger seat, but it's full weight. My car's full weight. As you can see, full interior. As soon as I get back from the track, I put my seat back in and all my seats. And it becomes a sleeper. I put my stock wheels back on too. Cause I don't like driving on these. These are really expensive tires. So yeah, as you can see, we went to the track a few weeks ago. 
around pretty good times. It's running, it's running good. Uh, it's really close to breaking to the 10 seconds. Uh, but with this heat, I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, the new pulley, it is making more power. Um, so we'll see what it does this time. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have an awesome day.